Chase? What's up? What are you doing here? It's Batman. He's in trouble. Gotham's gotten worse. Commissioner Gordon's dead. Batman is going to kill the Joker. Like you need to come back to Gotham and convince him not to do it. Bruce Wayne's not my responsibility. But he saved you, Dick. What if you're the last person on Earth who can save him? He lost his conscience. He never had a conscience. He's the only hero that Gotham has left. If he goes bad, the city goes down. Bruce! Wait! He's a... Everybody, it's Charlie. We have to break down this Titans Batman footage. They have finally done the thing. I think I predicted a long time ago that they might have Batman on the TV show. There were a lot of rumors. It seemed like they were building up to that. But there are a lot of shows like Flash, Arrow. It seems like they're going for really easy slam dunks. And then they zig when they zag. And they don't end up doing the really big thing that you hope for. So I believe that this is the first genuine adult TV Batman in a real Batman costume on screen since Adam West. So don't worry, if you're confused about what's going on and you have not been watching Titans this season, you've just been watching my highlight videos, I'll explain what's going on with weird-looking flip-flops Robin, who's in what seems like the suburbs in this crazy dark version of reality. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to get all the videos. I'll explain schedule stuff at the end of the video too, because Young Justice Season 3 is starting in a couple weeks. So quick catch up, if you have not watched episode 10, careful for spoilers because there's a really big cliffhanger and this trailer is just so different that it seems like there's a time jump or reality is being warped in some dark way. So at the end of episode 10, Raven is tricked by her mother into bringing Trigon to our world. He's being played by Seamus Denver and he gives this really evil smile. Robin tries to enter this barrier that's around their house and just disappears as if reality has been changed around where Raven is living. So there's this crazy unexplained jump in the story between smiling Trigon and flip-flops Robin. Maybe there's like a little time jump, but reality has also been fundamentally altered because everybody has a lot of costume changes and the way they're presenting Batman in this is so dark that it just seems off the rails crazy. So Jason Todd rolls up in this footage and tells Nightwing, you need to come back. Batman has gone off the rails. He is taking down everyone. It's no longer justice. We are at darkest timeline scenario and it all sounds like something that Trigon is doing to reality, like covering the world in his darkness, which they talked about during episode 10. That is why Starfire came to planet Earth because she learned about the prophecy of Trigon. Her people knew that after Trigon was done taking the Earth for his own, he would move on to other planets. Their planet would eventually burn, so she was preemptively coming to try and stop Trigon from coming to the this reality. So that's why they were hyping up Starfire versus Raven in the last episode. There was a really cool Wonder Woman Lasso of Truth moment with Donna Troy. I am so glad that they went full on lasso and they're actually using the same special effects that they use for the Wonder Woman movie. You find out the Commissioner Gordon is apparently dead. It sounds like it might be the Joker or one of the other main Batman villains because then there's this montage of dead Batman villains. The one holding the coin seems like it's meant to be Two-Face. There's one with question mark tattoos that I'm assuming is supposed to be their version of the Riddler. Then we finally see our first real legit version of a TV Joker. I know Gotham's TV show has been playing around with that character in roundabout ways, but like this is telling you, this is the adult Joker. There's like no alternate personality. 
no weird twin stuff going on. It's the genuine Joker as you would think of him in one of the Batman movies. And we finally get our TV Batman going to town on everyone in his bat suit. This is what it looks like. Way more heavily armored. This is what his batarangs look like. Just eviscerating everyone in the Batcave. And these are police officers. So I think very clearly, like, what they're setting up here is, is that Trigon has somehow altered the world. And if you've ever saw that animated Justice League versus Teen Titans movie, they kind of do a version of that. So, like, Superman goes crazy, but the way they visualize that is that he has, like, the Trigon-looking eyes when he's being possessed by Trigon's darkness. There's some significant changes for Starfire. Like, she has black, straight hair. She's not wearing any special makeup or jewelry. She still has her powers because she uses them in the Batcave here, so her hair still glows a little red when they use those effects but it almost seems like she's a completely different character like she looks nothing like the starfire that we saw at the end of episode 10. Titans has been really dark this season so sometimes it is kind of hard to tell like are they trying to say this is really happening or is this just happening in someone's head and that's why it's so over the top dark. The fact that Batman is killing police officers in the Batcave and they blow up Wayne Manor just kind of hypes up the fact that this is definitely some mind space crazy Trigon trick like this isn't the true genuine version of Batman that's doing this. What they're really setting up with all this is his turn to Nightwing. Like he's trying to save Batman from the edge of darkness, find a better way. This whole season is about him leaving behind his dark past and finding a better way. That better way is the Nightwing identity. He even had a conversation with Donna Troy about taking a new identity. Who should I be? What should my name be? I'm not going to be Batman. Don't be Batman. Be someone else. Who? I don't know. And they just kind of leave it hanging there. Like he just hasn't come to the conclusion that Nightwing will be that new persona that he takes on. So I'll be really interested to see how they justify the Nightwing name because Nightwing and Flamebird characters are very critical to that and they haven't done those yet on the TV show. So they'll have to have some other way of explaining that. They've also been foreshadowing him getting the Nightwing suit the last couple of episodes. Like he destroyed the last Robin costume, the old one. Jason Todd was making fun of how outdated it was and how cool the brand new costumes were. So maybe he saves Batman from the edge of darkness and as a way of thanking him, like, you brought me back. Thank you so much, Dick. And he gives him the Nightwing costume. Like, here, this is a shiny new costume to go with your new identity and your new ethos. There's a lot of stuff that we could say about the Titans TV show. I feel like they've done a lot of good things this season, but it's been kind of all over the place and just way too dark in moments. So I feel like there's some creative things that they need to tune behind the scenes before season two starts. So after the finale, I'll do like a whole season review where we talk more about that. There's a lot of stuff we need to talk about because of all the other shows that are coming too. Like they finally cast all the Swamp Thing characters. We have a bunch of Justice Society characters that are coming to the universe as well. What's happening later today is I'm working on my Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse post credit scene video. That should post tonight. If you're a big Young Justice fan, quick reminder, they're launching Season 3 on the DC streaming service January 4th. That's a Friday, and they're doing three episodes per week till they burn through the first 12 to 13 episodes of Season 3. The second half of the season will premiere later in the summer and will comprise a separate arc. Season 3 is 26 episodes total, but I think they're just breaking it into different arcs and across the year. So we'll talk more about that when they drop more footage. Flash, Arrow, and all the other DC TV shows are on break, so there'll be some bonus videos happening for that stuff too. Leave all your requests in the comments below. Click here for my non-spoilery Aquaman review and click here for my brand new Reverse Flash trailer video. Thank you so much for watching. Everybody stay awesome. I'll see you guys tonight.